Hey guys, Sam Wickert here, and this is the V-Ray Render Pass tutorial that I mentioned I was going to be doing in the previous wall break tutorial. I just wanted to go ahead and get this video up to show you guys how to do V-Ray Render Passes just in case you had any questions before I go ahead and move on to the next part of that tutorial series, which is compositing for the wall break tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I go about doing my live action V-Ray render passes. And I know a lot of you guys may already know how to do this, so I'm sorry this isn't a fresh tutorial, but I know that some of you guys may find this tutorial helpful and it'll help me out in the future because I'll be able to reference this tutorial in future tutorials so I don't have to keep going in depth about how I do V-Ray render passes. I can just reference this tutorial and tell them to check out this one. Anyways, back to the tutorial. So we have a scene right now in 3ds Max of a GMC Jimmy, which I actually modeled for a future video. And since you guys are watching this tutorial and tuning in, I'm going to go ahead and show you a sneak peek. All right. So that's all you get. I'm sorry. But uh, we have the GMC Jimmy and I went ahead and uploaded this onto our website and you can go ahead and just head over to the shop 3d models and you can go ahead and download it and use it for whatever you like so feel free to download that as well here we are in 3ds max with the car opened up i'm going to quickly describe what render passes are so when we render something in 3d we have our baked image this right here is the image that we would get if we render it out to a single file well granted it has an alpha channel so we would get transparency in it as well so we wouldn't have this environment and background but this would be our image it would be baked we wouldn't have any control over our shadow opacity we wouldn't have any control over the reflections the refraction the glass it'll all be baked in well what if we want to be able to control these independent elements after we render we want to be able to control it in our compositor like after effects that's where render passes come in with render passes we can render out those individual elements like the reflections the refraction shadows the diffuse channel, etc., and we can control them in After Effects. So that's what I'm going to be overviewing today. So when I do my render passes, especially for live action shots, I like to render out my geometry separate from the shadows, the ground plane. You can see if we switch to the alpha channel, we have the car as well as the shadow right now, and that's what we're seeing in our alpha channel. Well, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this and I want to make my render without seeing the shadows. So we just see the car and then separately in another render, I'm going to go ahead and render the shadows back so I can have an independent image sequence of the car and the shadows. And then in turn, I'll be able to control the shadows opacity and give it blur if I need. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click on the plane that the shadows are being casted to, click object properties and turn off visible to camera. Okay. So now just the car is going to be seen. We want to head over to our render setup and we're going to click render elements. This is where we can add our individual passes that we're going to export when we render from V-Ray. We'll click add and, and there's a basic method to compositing these different passes in After Effects and there's also a more advanced method. I'm going to go ahead and run through the basic method here because I've never found an instance where I really needed the advanced method because I generally just need to mess with reflections or refraction in my renders but if you are interested in the more advanced method that's that requires more render elements and also more compositing work then you can check out the website link will be in the description again this is just the basic setup so i'm going to go ahead and run through here i want to have global illumination i want to have a lighting pass reflection pass a refraction pass shadows and specular and if you were rendering out an image sequence and you wanted motion blur, you could render out a velocity. And also if you wanted to use a Z depth for any type of compositing or add depth of field, you can render that out as well. But this is just the basic bare bones that I need to properly show you guys about render passes. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And now we can see all these added in here. And we'll head back over to the V-Ray tab. And right here, you can see that we have the area in which we can save out our image. If we click render to V-Ray raw image file, this will let us render out what's called a beauty pass. And that's that image I just showed you before with everything baked in. We're not rendering anything else separately. So we'll go ahead and render this out for the heck of it so, I can, so we can compare this to our composited render passes in After Effects. And these render passes when composed together should look exactly like this, but we have the independent control we were talking about. So I'll, say, I'll browse for this, save. I'll go ahead and also save the render channels. And I like to also save the RGB and alpha, and we can browse for those. Again, EXR, 32-bit, okay. 
Now, once we have everything set up, we can go ahead and click render. All right, so that render finished up and I'm just gonna quickly also render out a shadow pass. So I'm gonna select everything and just right click object properties, turn that visibility to camera off and then click my plane again, object properties, make that visible to camera. And I'm just gonna head back over to my render setup and I'm gonna turn off the separate channels because we don't need separate render passes for this. And I'm just gonna save this as my shadow and I will save it out as an open EXR image and render. So the render's finished up and here we are now in Adobe After Effects. I imported all the files and I rendered the files out to work in a linear workspace. Uh, to set this up in Adobe After Effects, we're just gonna click eight bits per channel, change it to 32 bits per channel, change the working space to sRGB and click linearize working space. And you can read about a linear workspace here and I highly recommend you check it out online. This isn't a linear workspace tutorial, but I do render out my files using them, so I have to work in one in After Effects. So click OK. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of the files, excluding the shadows and the original RGB passes. So we'll control click to deselect shadows. We'll just drop this in a new composition. Click OK. And now we have all the layers stacked up on top of each other. With them all selected, I'm gonna change their transfer mode to add. Now that should look familiar. We can go ahead and double click and you can see that it is the exact same as the beauty pass but all of these parts are making up the whole. That gives us the ability to independently manipulate these passes. So I wanna tone down the reflections. I can just lower the opacity. We have so much control of our render after we rendered from our 3D program. And that's the beauty of render passes. One other thing I'd like to go over is we rendered out the V-Ray shadows pass. Uh, we can drop that in and we can just change the transfer mode to subtract. I generally like to include these. It's just a little extra shadow detail and now we can just select all of the layers. We can pre-compose these into our car and we can drop in the ground plane shadows we rendered out. We can also make a background and drop them in the back. There we have it, our final image. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Again, be sure to download the 3D model of the GMC Jimmy we have up on the website. Link will be in the description or you can click right here at this annotation. And just be sure to subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. All right. Thanks, guys.